beautiful area. Nice day to be out on the new surface marker boy. I have a new spear gun thanks to Barkley at the spear fishing store for hooking me up with that. It's a Cressy Cherokee open 75 centimeter spear gun. Let's see what's out there. Okay, so round up for the first few lives. Uh, no fish really, one or two grass. Uh, but I did see some reed nests like circles on the seabed, which is quite interesting. I landed right on the edge of a big group of nests. I couldn't see any eggs in the nests, but the nests went on as far as I could see. I've been given some great footage courtesy of Matt Doggett and Martin Openshaw so I'll leave a link to the Black Bream Project website in the description so please do check it out if you're interested. These fish are protogenous hermaphrodites. I'll put more information in the description. Basically what it means is these fish develop and mature as female fish and then at a later stage uh, they will turn into male fish. So those are juvenile black bream and this is a male black bream around breeding season. You can see they turn a much darker black blue colour and they have vertical white stripes. Huge amounts of black bream move inshore every year to breed. It's the males that create the nests and they love areas of rock or clay with a thin layer of sand covering it. It can be hard work to build and maintain these nests and fights can break out between competing male bream. And here is a male bream trying to court a female bream, although it would appear he's been unsuccessful. Although this male appears to have had more success, you can see the male has the vertical white stripes and the female has a horizontal white stripe. The male will swim back and forth over the nest to keep it clear of sediment and to keep the eggs oxygenated. The eggs can take anywhere from less than 10 days to over two weeks to hatch, depending upon the water temperature. If the nests are unguarded, a variety of species will move in and eat the eggs.
having dealt with the rats, any other trespassers are escorted off the premises. I think it's clear that the nests can be impacted by methods of fishing that damage the seabed and remove lots of black bream from guarding their nests. Spearfishing has no impact on the seabed. I don't think we have much impact on the breeding process. Having said that, if you see a black bream in an area with nests, especially if it's holding its ground over a nest, I think it's best to, uh, to let them guard their nest and target them later in the year instead. Back to the spear fishing. It was all pretty quiet really, there wasn't that many fish about at all. I couldn't really find uh, any bass, which is what I was looking for. In summer the reefs are often teeming with bass. But I could find some pollock. Uh, there were a good few pollock about, but they weren't really big enough, so I ended up bagging a few spider crabs, so I didn't go home empty-handed. <laughs> 